And we're live! Hey, hey, it's finally Friday and we are here to kick off your Lego loving weekend. And this week we have the contentious issue of... Are Lego artists and creators being scammed? I was waiting for a quick yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 let, 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 let me extend on the topic a little bit. Uh, we're talking about things like uh, when Lego uh, creators go to shows and they're having to pay, like over in the USA and I've heard in parts of Europe this happens. For com- you know, for commercial shows where you're the major draw card of the show. Not saying that they're the only draw card, but they're the major part of it. People go there to see the Lego. They don't go there to just buy Lego. And then to the greater extent, things like movies, television, etc., are always contacting people that they know within the Lego community saying, can we borrow this? Can we do this? And there's really no remuneration involved at all. We're expected to do it for the love. So, what are we all thinking? Let me know in the live chat. Let me know if you're watching the playback. Um, What do you think about that? I think it sucks. I think it sucks? Yeah. I've seen so many cases, like you say, with movie houses. Bring up a fan and say, hey, we've got a Star Wars opening. Can you lend us your Millennium Falcon for $1,300? And then they don't even get so much as a damn movie ticket. Yeah, that is a bit mean. So, you think, um, yeah, yeah, you think if you're giving them a loan or something like that, you'd get a half dozen tickets. To yeah, go, so, so we'll, we'll chat a bit about the, the positives and negatives about that. But first, uh, I should probably introduce the people in the panel for those of you who are new if this is your first time make sure you subscribe (laughs) and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss us we are here every friday night live so on the panel we have uh does darren uh, gandalf that guy from south of the border yeah mexico way evening folks (laughs) we also have rrb ninjago as always going on needs no introduction but uh he's my awesome friend from new south wales very (laughs) australian panel at the moment we will see if that changes later on in the night and last but not least we have james if his audio is working i did did. it's like hello hello is this on hello And James is uh, also from um, south of the water down in Victoria. Allegedly. Allegedly. (laughs) Not that we can tell because you're currently just an avatar of Beaker. I mean. (laughs) Well, you know, uh, Mother always said I was special. (laughs) Special is bright. Oh. He knows me. He has to be special. in a nice way. I only know special people. You only know special people. Are you saying I'm special? Yes. We're all special. I'm special. Darren says I'm special, so I'm special. Does that mean R.I.B. is special? Yeah, he's special in a special way, though. (gasps) He likes Ninjago. (laughs) That makes him extra special. You can't hold that against him. Who's holding that against him? R.I.B. You went that the wrong way. Hello. Mm, that was awesome. Can, can every can everybody see the, the the large Minecraft thing behind me? Sort of. Half uh, of it. it. It just fits on the shelf and only barely. How many creepers uh, come in that set, by the way? How many creepers? Mm. Only one. Oh, and uh, is that the giant? <laughs> is the um, the giant blob? That Evening, is a special Mr. one. That's a special Ooh, one. Special Judge Creeper. Ooh, Judge Creeper. <gasps> you know your Minecraft. Well done. Sadly. Sadly. <laughs> what? Apparently, what? their um, yeah. latest update they have turtles, which is cool. They have what? Turtles. Turtles and yeah. aggressive squid that squirt ink at you. That sounds is... exciting. Yes. 
So I can imagine there will be a time when people will be farming. What am I talking about? Lego. <laughs> anyway. Nice to see some faces we haven't seen for a little while back in the chat. Miss Amby's back tonight. Hey, hey. Most excellent. Most excellent, yep. And, so uh, what have we all been doing this week? Anything exciting? I've been buying sets. Ooh, I got let off the let off the retail chain. Ooh. I've even had my brick band band busted. I'm allowed to buy Lego. I'm allowed to buy Lego. Yeah, I've got three of these. Oh, that's a good set. I like this one. It's been going out for a really stonkingly good price of twenty six bucks. What's the recommended retail? Uh, they were around the forty five dollar mark when they were first released. Mm -hmm. Then they went down to about 36, and now they're down to 26. Uh -huh. Not many left Target have them all now, so you can go to any other Target, but anything near where I live within 100 kilometres where I live, okay? <laughs> Darren's like, they're mine. They're mine. <laughs> they're mine. They're mine. They're mine. They're 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 mine. Don't, even thinking, don't even think about going to Cranbit. I'm, I'm sure you've, you've got that one wrong. Right. <laughs> uh, James, yes. have you been working on anything exciting? Uh, that sounds exciting just in itself. Um, <laughs> uh, not in particular because, you know, after my my glorious triumph of... Um, of coming third. Shut up. Uh, yeah, that. Bronze, like, it was, bronze it was, man. It was bronze great. man. Bronze and, man. Uh, as I said... Copper is very useful in, in the um, information age. Yeah, all right. Uh, yes, so I, I bought um, a new creator set, which I, as you can see, I'm, I'm still bigger. So I'm waving this thing around for no avail, but it's 31075. Um, it's the new creator three and one, 20 bucks. And. I love the new box art, and it's essentially a, a combo thing. So you can make um, like a, a four-wheel drive with a winch and a dog thing, um, or you can make a helicopter because Lego win helicopters. Um, or you can make a uh, humpy. Oh, I want to see the earth. Oh, yes, the uh, earth. Uh, 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 but in particular, the thing that kind of attracted me to this is a it was 20 bucks and kind of look cool but there's lots of rounded tiles there's some printed tiles which look like um bits of wood and they're like four long um and yeah, there's a, a few little bits and pieces that will look quite shiny and i'm doing my best not to open it Let's see how that goes uh, i'm holding it off for much. Like you're saving it for yes i'm saving it for I love how you're being so descriptive I, I know exactly what you mean Yes, um, although that being said, um, I'll probably just get excited and buy another one on Monday. <laughs> um, and... Open it. Open it. Not oh, that we can see anything. Man, you need a webcam. <laughs> and um, I'm waving around invisibly. James. Well, what I could do, I could put up a um, GoFundMe. And so, I don't know. What's a good figure? Two thousand dollars. Very cool. Two thousand dollars, you could come and be here in person. Well, the great. Okay, four thousand. Um, <laughs> no, for two thousand dollars, you, you, the um, the listening public can be quite well established in the knowledge that you'll be helping out an AFOL, and he'll be very happy. Um, that is my own ironclad guarantee. Ironclad, I guarantee that. Because that will pay for, that will pay for a Millennium Falcon, US, uh, UCS Millennium Falcon, and I'll even build it for you and you can see what's going on. And Yes, and, and webcam and everything. Yeah. And you might be able to eat for a week. That is, that is a nice benefit, yes. Eating is, is important. Um, and drinking Eating is and, optional. And, I, mean, I mean, important. Important. <laughs> but you won't pay for that bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What are you eating? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, oh, moving right along. Please. Yeah. Uh, RRB, have you been up to anything much this week? 
I noticed that you've been putting up some videos. Yes, finally. <laughs> Hooray! Finally, I'm back from my prolonged break. Um, Do you tell us all about it? Yeah, I got. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you saw that I got a lot of sets in this week. So. Um, excited. Yeah. I've already built them all, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, you blew it too quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I got the um the sixty that I set. That's a cool set. Oh yeah, I'm je- jealous cool. that you had that, but um I'm planning on getting the instructions and finding pieces to make it. Is this box the same size as the one that you got from the Dream World Lego store opening? Is it the same size? It looks similar. It does look yeah. similar. It's a very cool box. I, was, I love the box art. Yeah, that's cool at the back. Good evening, Timmy. Good hi, fat toy. Starting by now. Starting hi, ho. See ma, go see ma. He ho ma, lay wu shi a panel. And in English? Basically, happy Chinese year and hope everyone's well on the panel. Ah, oh, cool. Have, yes, happy Chinese New Year. Yes, yeah. very busy time. Very busy today. Had to go and see the wife, uh, mum, and her family. And yeah, you're, 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 looking, you're looking very uh, regional tonight. Yes, very Chinese. <laughs> Chinese New Year. Oh, dear. All right, for, for <laughs> anyone who's new, hasn't been here before, this is Tim Thurston, Timmy, a.k.a. Don't Break Timmy. He is in, <laughs> he's an Aussie expat. I bloody will oh, am, mate. <laughs> That's such an unfair request. <laughs> yeah, we know. Good that, the you, craziness good begin. that you made it. All right. <laughs> yeah, we got home just in time from um, the... the yeah, the daddy side of the family. So. Oh, okay. I, I think you just confused everybody because you were speaking in Chinese. That's <gasps> all right. Tim, Tim does that occasionally. Hi, la, ni ho ma, shirba. Sorry, I, I got the Chinese going because both sides of the family don't speak English. So I, 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 I'm... I apologise in advance if I drop into Cantonese or put them up. All good. All good. What's uh, cracking, guys? Wait, so, RB, were you finished saying what you were saying before we were really Sorry, interrupted mate. by Timmy popping in? It's all good. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, just a girl, the Ninjago stuff for this wave and, and the. Um, Ninjago City is now in stock on Toys R Us website, so yeah, so see what I can do eventually. I, I haven't, what I don't like is how unclear Lego is with how long a set's going to be out because I made the mistake with the Temple of Egypt, so I rushed into getting it because yeah. I thought it was going to retire after, after six months and it ended up being around for two years. Um, so I think I'm going to contact Lego in some capacity this second to be retired so I know how long I've got to wait to get it. Yeah. But they keep... They probably, they they probably won't have a clue, but I'll give it a go. Well, didn't they have issues with that, with the Ghostbusters firehouse? Like, they just literally didn't have stock for, for the longest time. Well, Big W kept getting in and out of stock in my area. I yeah. just, I'm just not sure how Ninjago City is going to be treated, seeing as it's and only a Toys R Us set. Mm. Like, uh, um, one word after pay, and I'm saying yeah, it's one word. But, yeah. Yeah. I know, but, uh, but I've reached my I've reached my quota for this month, so ah. I can't. Yeah, he's maxed <laughs> out. Poor buddy, R.O.B.'s maxed himself out with all his bloody Ninjago. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> But again, this is the issue we've been talking about before. So much released in one go that no one can really afford at all. Yeah. yeah. See, the modulars, they actually retired a bunch and they brought them back. So. Yeah. Well, I, I looked at... Um, I looked at... 
my wife. Um, I I will I will eventually get it. I just want to know how long I've got to wait to get it. Mm. So next month, if my after pay is back to normal, I'll just you know we'll get it then. But we'll wait and see. Well, I highly doubt it's going to just be that quickly. Well, well I, I was just a bit on the See me yet. I was just a bit worried because the money of Falcon was gone in the day. I'll look you up, son. Toys R Us, Toys R Us had it for one day and it was gone. No way. Well, well, the Millennium Falcon um, is available. I think you can get it at Meyer as well. Um, yeah. We're lucky enough but in, that's in Melbourne to have the LDC down here. Uh, yeah, well, that's just a bit alarming, though, because if the Millennium Falcon is available everywhere, and in Jago City is a pretty popular set, I'm a bit worried it's going to be sold out in a week or so. Yeah, normally sets like that, like big sets, you get two years. Um, yeah. Yeah. But usually you got all the people who are like, I must have it! In and the they want wave. Yeah, and they want to milk in the Jacko. So. Yeah, I'm hoping it's around for a couple of years at least. That's what I'm hoping for. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, at least until something that's bigger it. comes out. Well, the, the do- that's the worrying thing. The docks come out at the end of the year. The one that connects to it. So that's a bit alarming. It's a gamble. But, I, but I'm assuming, well, because I'm assuming the, the docks connect to it, I'm assuming that it'd be around the same time for the same amount of time. Well, that's what I hear from over here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come out, um, and you should still have maybe a year... Um, Grace between the two. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. That will go in the meantime. Like, you probably have, uh... Well, I can't see the Silent Mary lasting that long. Oh, but the Silent Mary is, like, half a ship. Yeah, well... Well, the TIE Fighter is due to go. Half? You're giving it credit? And the slave (laughs) one, I think. They're due to go soon. So if you haven't got your Slave 1 or your TIE Fighter, get on it. They're awesome sets. Get to it. Mate, there's so many TIE Fighters and Slave 1s over here, you can't bloody trip over them, mate. <laughs> I, haven't seen, I haven't seen a Slave 1 in a while. I've seen a lot of TIE Fighters, but I haven't seen a Slave 1 for a while. Yeah, that's my other thing. No, I think a the TIE Fighter is everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. We're being invaded! We're being invaded! Being invaded by what? Oh, Darren. I missed. I make no apologies for having Kavibi. Oh, God. <laughs> I apologize in advance for Darren and his um, behavior. <laughs> I think he likes his Kafifi with something. Possibly a uh, roundup. Uh, Ajax. So, a- so Ajax? Ajax. Does anyone want to see what I bought this week? Yes. What you no. <laughs> it's a big vet, wasn't it? He's throwing my words back at me. Milk of amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> Like usually, usually when Daz asks something, I just go no, just to be painful. Um, we went to Toys R Us first. What a bag! It's a bag with stuff in it. Oh. Stuff, cool. Uh, stuff, Lego stuff, the best kind of stuff. Oh, that's right. She pulls out the bag and just shows us the very top of each item. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting it's just in the back of the box. Like shows us the whole box, but shows us the back of it. You're the master. I'll stash it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so so we collect minifigures. We also collect these darn things. God knows why we started. But Brick now we started, we must have all. Um, Brickheads, yeah. So we were looking for all the new ones. And, of course, nowhere has all the freaking new ones, do they? So we've got what we can get so far. So we got this guy. Here huh? he is. Aquaman. Uh, uh. Aqua. Aquaman. We also got uh, Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. 
Here's something depressing. What? Charm City Brick already got those for two dollars at Walmart. Those brickheads. That sucks. The new ones. Yeah, two dollars. Yeah. Uh, Flash. He posted and, on Instagram earlier this week. And that and box boy, they know the post is killer out of the US, so we can't make advantage of it. Some yeah. cyborg thingy from Star Wars, I think. Yes, it's DC. I knew we were going after Star Wars ones as well, but they weren't there. Um, have you got I, these yet, Sheree? Have I got what yet? These? No! No, yeah, we're going to get them at lego.com. They're not coming to retail, are they? Were, were these in the Lego store or no? No. Yes, I they, the they, 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 we asked if they had them. They how they it sold See how it says exclusive there? Yeah. So these were um these were exclusive ones in the US and that's it. Oh that sucks. Um and Lego Shop at home, obviously. You can get them on Lego.com. Anyway, I'm not finished. Jeez. Yeah, and geez. then Well, okay. Uh we went like on Monday, I think it was, and we um denied about it. I was like, oh no, we'll get them another day and like pretty much there was the a couple of the Star Wars that there, there and they were all gone. All gone, all gone, all gone. So well, uh, we went back and you. this was on the shelf. Mm. Check the price. Eight dollars. No, eight dollars. No, it's a lie. I'll have you, thank you. Nice pieces. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. So I got that. But that's not all. Oh, wait, also there's more. A free to the steak knife. But there's more. Um, Hubby rang up the Dreamworld Lego store chasing after the seasonal ones that we missed. Are too impatient to order from Lego.com. Sorry, Darren. Hmm. <laughs> that kind of cut, comes with something on it. Like, yeah, okay. So we, we ordered it and, and had it posted, and she gave us, like, two postal quotes, and one of them was for Oz Post and one was Curious Please, and Cur- Curious Please was more expensive, so I was like, no, no, just send it Australia Post, it'll be all right, and then, then she billed us for Curious Please, and, and we got it with the courier. was not impressed, but anyway. So they sent us one of these that we've already got, Oh, hello. Catalog. It's a very, very, it's a very incomplete catalog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't spend enough to get the doggy, but they yeah. sent us some envelopes. Wow, that is rubbish. Oh, so if if you pack. had spent more money, we would have given you things. Can you put it on <laughs> oh, your feet? Please. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Will you show us the Chinese menu? menu. Uh, special fried rice and crispy chicken. <gasps> and then uh, these are the ones that I really right? wanted. Uh, the B. Yeah, see oh, that? Nice. See, that pisses me off because when I made the Lego show up at home, I got to get those brick ends and all sets. I wanted that. Oh, what a, what a, what a, what a, what When I made my Lego show up at home, I wanted to get those brick heads. I wanted that B as well. And it That's was sold out. Uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, you, it was you can still get it at the Lego stores in Australia. Last time I checked, Caddy still had it. So, yeah, wanted yeah. to get that. And you can get it online because they were sold out. <laughs> And these aren't even online yet. Oh, what? Bunny! What They've got that in? already. Hold that in all. Are you going to get the wig? Are you going to get the wig? And, and then I have like a, a Lego bag because apparently I just have a Lego bag. Wow. wow. So you get things and a box. I get things in a box and, and, and wow. things in the box are also box. I get boxes and boxes and a bag. And you don't oh, even have a cat. Oh, and, 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 and envelopes. The envelopes are kind of cool, but, I, you know. Oh, my God. I didn't yeah, even, I didn't even realize that it was a freebie. 
They've got the pictures of the dog on there to rub it in your face that you didn't spend enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure how much we were supposed to spend. Oh, well, that many bloody dogs, I don't know what to do with them. Well, Henry in the chat reckons he spent $100 to get it. $100, bugger that. But at, at my... We didn't have everything that we wanted. At my, it was $88. Maya was eighty eight dollars. Oh, and that was the other thing. It was like seventeen dollars postage. What the <sighs> fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah. For for those two things, I was like, mm, yeah, right. Would it still have been seventeen dollars if there was more? Who would have? Who, who would know? Right? But it was a case of we. You know, being seasonal things, we were worried they were going to sell out and we didn't know when we would be going to the Dream World store because it's not something that you go for a trip just to go to it because, like, we don't have Dream World passes or anything like that. So, um, yeah, it was nice for Dream World to be able to send it to us, but $17 nice. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they didn't even give us, like, tracking information after saying that they would. What? We didn't. Well, that's the other thing. Uh, KB, you cannot get your VIP points for the Dreamworld store over the phone yet. Oh, what? So, not only were we charged seventeen or dollars for our postage, we didn't get any VIP points. I mean, our order wasn't huge, thank goodness, but still, they have yeah, no. Still, you're still like a buddy. You're still like putting in your number. So yeah, I was not overly impressed with that. So um, I would I would seriously discourage people from ordering um, over the phone uh, until they sort that issue out. So, so until they fix that problem. Well, um, I think it's a case that they they rushed they rushed to get this happening. Um. Like they they don't have like the plastic cards yet, but I'm assuming that they'll I've send them at, at a later a later date. But uh, since I but I has them, so I, I'm happy to have this. This is, this one isn't even on like a shop at home yet. Ooh. The bunny bunny sold out here. You can get your hands on it. It's it's not yeah. It, it's not even listed as sold out. It hasn't hit the Australian Lego shop at home. Um, that yeah, that'll be a seasonal set. That should be in the LDC within next week or so. Yeah, well, Dreamworld already has them, so okay. I got it. I got it. Are That's you gonna get the the witch on. later in the year? Yes, I'm planning which on getting witch? getting all of them. Which which is which? Cause Lego make me buy things, taking advantage of me like that. I don't know. Yeah, they often take advantage of us, April. Oh, Crit is, Crit is correcting me. Okay, Critter, when we looked for them when we wanted to buy them, they weren't there. I'm not saying they aren't there now. Yeah, Crit, Crit, Critter. Crit, that, that, was, that was earlier in the week, but thank you for, for correcting me. That's fine. <sighs> Some people. Anyway. So we're still going to chase two or three more the Star Wars ones. Yeah, Ray and Ray and uh, Ray Kylo and are Finn, available. Ray here. and Finn, and is that it? Boba Fett and Ray, uh, Kylo, Boba Fett. Oh, and Kylo Ren. And the block of concrete that's masquerading yeah, yeah, as Henry. Solo. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the Boba Fett. That 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 one is limited edition. I'm not getting that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. Uh, yeah. Darren is is very proud of his stash that he managed to sneak through customs. Congratulations, <laughs> Darren. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, been there, done that. Right. You've confused many a Labrador. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Poor Labrador. Hey, he's not the only one. <laughs> I got I got my little crystal meth. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mainly trying to play. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so let's all get stoned on ABS. Show off. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, 
Speak, speaking of brickheads, do, do we like brickheads or not like brickheads? Because on Apple's of Facebook is being like handy by a whole bunch of people saying, oh, this is crap, you know, stupid, don't like it. They're great for parts, namely if you want, like, they're not going to replace, you know, cheaper methods of getting it, like, through your, your handy dandy lug, you know, mm-hmm. like that. But particularly um, with the parts that, oh, what is it, the, there is a name for it. Yeah, yeah the holders, um, there's like four of them. The snot pieces. Yes, the snot pieces. Um, they're, you know, four by, by one and two by two blocks and stuff like that. They're actually really. They're quite nice. The thingies, uh, the thingy thingies. thingies, yes, and they come thingies. in stuff in bags. Yes. Aren't you glad I'm here? Uh, yep, yep. Try the beef. You'll be here all week. Oh, yeah, we'll be all, here all week. Hello. <laughs> yeah, oh, over but... here is more like try the try the the sing shang dumpling. Very good and crunchy. Oh, yeah. You don't want to know what crap is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who went to me in? Oh, <laughs> oh dear. So, oh, so no. okay, okay. D- Darren, what are your thoughts? You, do you like briquettes or do you think they're a waste of space? I personally don't buy them. Personally, I don't care either way. I think mm. That's not people like them. People like them. I think they're cool builds, but I'm not out to collect them. Yeah. That being said, um, Rick James Bricks can't keep them on the damn shelves quick enough. Yeah. Um, one of his hottest sellers. Yeah, they're definitely selling well. Definitely selling well. It's probably sold more of them in volume than in the last two years. Well, since they released them. Uh, I see it as like um, when they introduce friends to capture a new market. Uh, this is just something else that's a collectible to capture a new market. Same as when they started the mini figure mini figure collectible series is capturing I, that market. I think in a way it's it's a trying to fill a little bit of the gap that we've lost with um, the Funko pixels. Using off axis building techniques, some of it, but not quite. You know mm. I mean? It wasn't quite the parts available. We had mixels, but some, as James said, some people are just buying them for the parts. So, yeah. yeah. We're getting a lot more brown in them, I suppose. So, if, you, if you're into collecting a bit of brown for steampunk and that, you well, also get you're getting some pretty cool colors like the flash. Yeah. Look at all that red, yeah. dark red, it's cool. I mean, yeah, some of it is printed, but you know, you can always use it for other things. And you're getting, you know, your flesh-coloured tiles too. Yeah. Interesting bits and pieces. Yeah, it, that's it. It's, it's a way to get some interesting bricks and some colours that are hard to get, a, get otherwise. So yeah, those are those uh, guys. I've noticed that there's a trend, particularly um, with some of the people who are on Instagram. Uh, of course, we don't have Joe here tonight. Joe's been more working, working out in that really humid weather we've been having lately. So I'm assuming that he is just buggered, uh, but he's what you know. He's our Instagram man on the ground. But um, yeah, I've noticed a lot of the Lego people have been posting up um, like sig fig briquettes. So one of the reasons that I picked up this was for the bits, so that I can attempt to do a really crappy one because um, I don't know how well it would come out. <laughs> But I've seen some pretty impressive ones, actually. Um, yeah. I think I've seen Brainy Bricks has done them. Um, the Chicks from Brick Sisters uh, have done them. I'd have to sit down and, and look at each individual one. Uh, Mr. H was mentioning about um, custom brick heads just earlier in the chat. Mr. H. Oh, caught him on the icebox. What? <laughs> oh, this is where we're like, James, there are some weird and wacky and lovely YouTubers that are in, you know, the Lego niche of the hobby. And one of them is called Iceberg Bricks. Um, he's been on my panel. He's very cool. He's well, he's cool. an iceberg. Yeah, he's an iceberg. He's nearly as cool as James. Oh, well. <laughs> 
James goes, goes wait till you all see my face. Dude, that's kind of weird. Like a name like Iceberg, it, it kind of makes me want to approach him at high speed and lick him. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see if my tongue will stick to him, you know? Oh, now, and, I, and, and I'm quite sure that that will be misinterpreted as some homoerotic thing. But no, it, it, it kind of... No? Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, Back to the program. Whatever you're talking about, it's all good. It's all good. Hashtag don't break Timmy. That's all right. You're laughing so hard you were going to break him. It's not as if... This goes out to anybody, and it's not as if this is actually recorded. Oh, sh oh. Um. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Iceberg. <laughs> if you're watching this, but everybody tell Iceberg he's got to watch this bit. So scrub to whatever time this is so that you can Ice see boy. James saying Iceberg he wants to lick you. Barry and he's very displeased. James is hey, like, hey. why am I doing? Why am I here? Okay. Hi. <laughs> oh and <OMG. laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. See some people pay for that. Hey. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Miss uh, it's, okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna click <laughs> on myself. I'm gonna get clicky with myself. Uh oh. Mr. H has made well, I thought I clicked myself. I must have clicked myself off. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I'm on the screen all this time. Uh Mr. H made himself a briquette. That's pretty cool. You see a sig figure down there? Oh, hang on. Nice. Siggy figgy. Nice. Oh. Cool. That's interesting. Cool. That's very tempting. Yeah. It's a little less blocky looking than what I would consider the um, standard. But well, have I like it. It's a nice, nice cake on it. Oh, yeah. Stronger. But um, if you want to see what the Brick Sisters have done with their Brick Heads, you probably want to check their last live stream. Uh, I sadly missed being on it. Because <laughs> I, I, I am a part of the Brick Sisters, just it's very hard because most of them are over in she USA. Just in different time zones, so. Well, well, so. I will get back on it one day. Excuse me, yeah, I am an AFK. AFK. You're yes. not allowed to be AFK. Was AFK? Afka. Afka. Uh, be right back. Oh, ASMR. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, oh, we have a flash pants in the chat. Hey Tim. Oh, I'm the Brick Loves Vintage Lego. That's a long name. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ambia, we mentioned earlier. Mr. H, we mentioned Henry, Mark O'Neill. Who else? Orion Pax, nineteen eighty-one. Who says no? I hate them. I'm assuming you mean the brickheads. Well, they're not everyone's taste. That's fine. You're allowed to hate them. Dragon yes. Man Seven. Oh, oh. Man. Phil Zagee was in here earlier, one of my friends, and Critter we already mentioned. Creepy Critter. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw Johnny G super, super early and he's not popped back in. If you're, if you're on the boards, boy, say hello. Oh, and James. James is on the panel. James. James Moore Bricks was in earlier. Douglas McBricken. Uh, just Lego 101, of course. Good to see you, mate. Just scrolling, Lego, scrolling, nothing scrolling, else. Scrolling, scrolling. Yeah, quite a lot of people in the chat tonight. If I've missed anyone, my apologies. We'll um, just say hi and we'll get to you a bit later. Hi. So what have we got? Um... I'm going to a farm to buy sheep. My sheep will be well looked after. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What's <laughs> context? What the hell is that? Do I, do I need to scroll backwards to find the context to that? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's a Kiwi thing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
And here is Johnny. I have a sheep. Look, it's Man. black. It's a black sheep. Man. I also like the family. And it's got better printing on black than um, that that Ninjago figure that we that I pan, that Lady yes, Dragonheart yes. or whatever her name is. You sure that's a black sheep, or is it just wearing a hoodie? It's a sheep. No, it's a black sheep with a white face of, for some weird reason. <laughs> it's in the hoodie. <laughs> it's Lego Minecraft. Logic doesn't enter into it. It's a black sheep of the family. Yeah, and it's cool because you can actually like um, change out the the brick and make it a Sean black sheep. Oh no, Sean sheep! <clears throat> oh, um, regarding the slime, does that break into four or two? Oh, or, yeah, slime has baby or is it like a nested slime thing? It's a nested slime. Hang on, I'll pull it out. I'll pull it out for you, James. <laughs> out of the hole. Oh. Yeah, yeah, out of the hole. Even better. Okay, so you got got the the, the mama slime, the big one. Yep. Quite quite simple, really. Oh, the gong hai bok choy fireworks are just done. Very, very simple. And then okay. you got this little baby slime, which uh, we've seen before in other sets. Okay. At least one other set. If hubby was awake and not having to get up early in the morning, he would totally tell me. He totally will. He totally would. Actually, yeah, we've, we've had a busy week this week. We, we streamed four times. Ooh. Four times making that ginormous thing in the background there. Yeah. yeah. And he really enjoyed it. And everyone, like, in, by the time we got to the fourth one, he'd well warmed up by then and we were actually having good banter, which was nice. And everyone in the chat was like, oh, he needs, he needs to come on videos more often because he's, you know. Entertaining. Yeah, he is. Hubby well, is I, definitely entertaining. I married him. Of course he <laughs> <you> is. <do. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I better put these slimes back. Yeah, so so the baby slimes can go inside the big one, and then it breaks. You know, you can break it apart and pull the little ones out. Cool, cool. It's a very cool feature. Oh, um, so Lego are now trying to teach you the birds and the bees. The birds and the bees. <laughs> I'm saying well, um, that way. Though. The Minecraft oh, sex education set. Yeah. The A section. <laughs> Yeah, they're asexual, so it's not like it's a mom, when a mom, mama slime and a, and a baby uh, uh, mama slime. <laughs> and, uh, when a mama slime has a baby slime because a mama slime and a daddy slime love each other very much. No, just give up. Hate it, Doctor Freud. I knew what I was going to say, but you are Jesus. It is very fortunate that Minecraft you can craft shovels because I think at this time. <laughs> anyway. anyway. Um, RRB, you needing to pop on off? Yeah. Um, so so. I had some trouble to waking up in the morning because I stayed up to. We go to bed early at night. Self inflicted. But I'll um, I'll see you guys. Thank you. Uh, Friday. Good luck. Hey, right. okay. Catch you on the flip side. Hope to see you Sunday, mate. Yeah. He should be back for Sunday for Timmy's stream. Uh, for anybody who is new or anybody who is current, uh, Tim Thurston is the channel for Sunday night Super Sunday stream. Yes. Please join. Get your uh, weekly dose of Timmy and um, friends. Timmy and friends and fun. Timmy and friends. All and your fun. Lego. Oh. <laughs> For all your Lego fun. But hopefully, it doesn't break Timmy. Yeah, don't well, break Timmy. That, that would help. Don't break me. Oh, you hey, make these a... promises. No, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look Hello. at my mate. Aggie sent me. Oh, what's that? I got, I got Aggie's oh, secret. Finally, 
I buy a lot of stuff in his store, Think Brick, and he finally oh. sent me a sig feed of him and his store, and it has his name on the back, Aggie. So, oh, uh, a little bit to focus, is my blurry, sorry, mate. blurry. Your internet is rubbish. Try the string. I have to get on the bicycle. Hang on. Yeah, that's <laughs> that'll, that'll it's harder. A tiny, that'll harder. It's in the front. Nah, that's quality NBN there. Yeah. No, no, he's in Hong Kong. Well, he's probably got better NBN than we do, and he hasn't got NBN. China, yeah. we have we have optic fiber, which you go from the node into your house, and then your house into a box. And it's still crap. And it's still crap. <laughs> maybe, yeah, well, maybe, maybe Malcolm Turnbull actually did get it right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah everything right. that you see and do gets scanned by the... Uh, oh, yeah. Lovely yeah. government. Hello. I love you. Like, hello, China. Yes, we love you. Yes, hello, we do. Yes, we, we love you. Yes, we love you long time. Yes, we we be very careful. The CCP is watching. And they will very, very come and get you. Because the power of the Korea... Oh, be careful, Timmy. They took you off the air last week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had to. I had to give celebration to the Communist Party. Gung Hai, Shiraba, Morsaba, Yikon Mani. Yes. It's it's obviously warmer there tonight, Timmy. Timmy got whipped. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got taken to a re-education camp in Shenzhen. Yes, that's it. <laughs> we had a lot of fun without you, though. I'm sure oh. you did. We all left, and then 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 Darren came back because he assumed that the stream had ended, and then he's like looking down and like not even realizing that he's live. Oh no! <laughs> and then I saw that like, well, if he's back, I'm coming back. And then 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 we're like, we should all just go. And then everyone left, and then I left, and then I came back. What's oh, the end wow. of that stream? It's hilarious. My goodness. Just go to the Chinese can't even cut me off. So it's a bit warmer there in Hong Kong tonight, Jimmy. Yeah, since I'm only wearing my toy son, my Chinese traditional dress. Yeah, uh, I was just just saying you're wearing that, not the hazmat suit tonight. Yeah, <laughs> mate. It's not snowing, mate. It's not snowing, Hong <laughs> Kong. Don't need to be hazmat man when it's not snowing. How can it? No. Yes, exactly. That's exactly. How can the snow? Let it snow. The funny Let thing is, they don't want to call it snow. They call no. it frost. They call it frosting. Frosting. It's not frosting, frosting you silly Chinese. It's bloody snow, you poor Chinese. <laughs> frosting. Isn't that like applying icing, but like really thickly? Yes, exactly, James. Oh, right. The Chinese are lost in translation half the time, the poor buggers. That's why I'm here to teach them English. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about our bloody spent the last four years here, Darren. I've been pushing sandstone up a hill. <laughs> and, and, anyway, Timmy, you you missed our um our our topic for the tonight. Topic yes. for the tonight. Well, we all did, didn't we? Well, we touched on it briefly and went yeah yeah yeah. So let's bring it back to the topic for a moment before we get off topic again. Please. Oh, so tonight's tonight's topic for those who weren't paying attention is are Lego artists or creators being scammed? Um, as in, if you're a professional or business, you get to make money. If you're a hobbyist, you get to do things, and it costs you money. So, yeah. um, like for example, over in the USA, uh, you have to actually pay to be an exhibitor. But you know, obviously, the organizers go, but you get this and this and this and this and this, and you know, it's it's like going to I don't know. Uh, uh, there shouldn't the nearest um, thing that you can compare it to in Australia is probably going to a convention like a sci-fi convention type thing. But you know, and as a cosplayer, and you know, the cosplayers are kind of part of the. The environment the vibe of the place yeah um, but you know they also have competitions and stuff like that but but they still have to pay to go so you know how 
how do you draw the line between events like that and our Lego events where, you know, you, you're having to pay travel, accommodation, not to yeah. mention the thousands of dollars in Lego. And I think we should get a card. Mark, yeah. Sorry, what was that, James? I think AFL should get a card. Like, you... Re like. I know it, like some people might say, oh, it impinges on rights and all that. But if you're a registered Lego nutter slash AFOL, and <gasps> let's say it's like Medicare or something like that, right? So you get your AFOL card and it's a dollar spent thing because let's be honest, it does go by dollar spent. And you have this um, card that is recognised in any store. It's, it's like a flybys card or something um, for people in Australia. You swipe it, it adds points to your account, and there's tiers of spend, and, and then you get a discount or something dependent on the spend. Um, and that also takes a little bit of pressure off the individual retailers as well. Um, and you can actually engage with Lego directly as a company. And that way they can run their own marketing and stuff like that. And it can be a lot more effective if it's with the AFOL directly. Now, of course, that's that's up in the Apple cart and, and changing a lot of things. But that would be a, a good way of rewarding um, yeah. the, you know, the It's a bit of a consumer. pipe dream, but it's a nice pipe dream. Years of spin. That's when you get the credit card bill, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I should do it with it. Who knows? You can you know, contact Visa and say, you know what, um, 110% of my spend is currently on Lego. How about I get a Lego-themed Visa debit Visa. card? Why not? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's They change their strategy on a whole bunch of things every year, um, and now they want to make a little bit more money, so they want to up into a, a few arrangements with some lugs and stuff like that. So maybe that might be another way of doing it. I, who knows? Um, yeah. This is where James goes, Lego, if you're watching. Hello. Hello. Lego, I'm watching you. Start at very much. <laughs> yes. Talk to me now. Uh, Talk to me, baby. Talk oh, to no. me. We only um, have one. Tell me you're going to give me a discount. Talk to me. I'm listening, and I have great clutch power. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey. I went there last week and I got into trouble. What happened to you get away with it? What are you talking about? Sorry, get your mind out of the gutter. I am talking hey. about bricks. Yes. How was I? All Break right. All right. We, we have a comment in the live chat that I will address first and yes. then we'll continue on. Um, where are we? I'm the Brick says Lego should sponsor community shows if they are promoting the Lego's brand and reputation. Um, in the content, was it? Oh, okay. Nah, yeah, the rest they, of the they, there should be stands in the very least. Lego should have a presence. As, okay, so yeah. the shows yeah. where there are R lugs, the recognized lugs that Lego has a relationship with, um, there is support given. It is given directly to the lugs, not the event, generally, unless the event applies for it themselves. And, yeah, there, there is stuff given. Like, um, it's not to say that there isn't, you know, things. Like, you, you get... You, you go to a show, you'll get something. But that something is never going to add up to the total of everything that you put into it. So no, notwithstanding no. your Lego, you're going to have your Lego anyway. You're going to buy your Lego anyway. You, your choice to buy whatever you want for your mock is your decision, you know, based on your budgetary requirements. You're going to spend that money anyway, right? Yeah. But I'm talking yeah. about things like food, accommodation, flights, if it's interstate. Um, or, even, or even just sending your stuff, even if you're proxy exhibiting, you have to get it to where it's going and that's going to cost you money. Um, is, it, is it fair when a um, commercial entity, for want of a word, is 
you know, they're taking the responsibility, they're taking the risk that this event is going to work. Uh, so, you know, if it fails and flops, then it's their debt, not the people that are um, showing the Lego, right? But if it's a success, where's the return? Like, like, where's the thanks to the people that are actually making the event that are the event? Is there enough of that? Or are these entities taking advantage of the Apple community? I think a mm. great way to do that would be, and again, this is Pipe Dream as well, but it, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be a bad thing. I say, okay, yes, there is a pool of people to sign up to go into the draw for a factory tour or something like that, but actually have a certain amount of them put away so that, you know, um, per country they've got five or ten people or whatever go over okay five or ten people in the globe or whatever fully paid for like a week's trip and they do the skatesburg um the fan weekend and the factory tour and all that or it could be like a grand prize you know and if you're involved in a lug and you can put your name into the drawer and it's a completely randomized thing you know because because let's be honest anything that they put up for you know as far as an advertising a promotion thing any AFOL is going to go there and let's say that you ha had the chance to go to the factory tour. Mm -hmm. You probably have a personal loan set up already <laughs> and be like, <laughs> and just going nuts. Yeah. So, and, so okay, really for, for, for people who don't know what the factory tour is, it, you can't just book it. It's a lotto. Hmm. Yeah. Pull names out of the hat. Certain number per country, I do believe. Although yeah. that being said, there's a lot of uh, same people get in, but anyway. Yeah, uh, and I, I don't think it's completely random, random mm. either from what I've been led to believe, um, that it is somewhat weighted in some dis in some ways. It's not just a, yeah. like, oh, let's pick a name out of the hat thing. They do, it's like, it's like an application process. It's, it's almost like going for an interview, but you're just filling out a form. And um, people do sort of try and, and, and gain the system. Yeah. You've got an airplane, Tim. Yeah, it's coming in to land. <laughs> I just got to help it. Oh, dear. It, it had to change the flight path because the uh, fireworks. Oh, okay, fair enough. I was like thinking, I've never heard a plane at your place before. <laughs> That's more of a thing that happens over my house. Just open uh, the window and you see landing lights. Like, oh. All right. Yeah, um, the landing lights <laughs> just, just to, okay, just checking in on the live chat again. We have Henry, one of our um, regular viewers. Says, um, yes. I'm 14 and obsessed with Lego. I kind of brought brought to them slowly by my parents. If you're watching YouTube, they say you're wa watching, say, a Lego YouTube and then gradually gradually build up. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to read it, and it's not English in good. Join oh, us. Yeah. That's pretty much all I can say. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> Collect all the things. All the things. All the shiny. All the shiny. But, but if you put one handful and you come up with a mega block, cast out. We'll, we'll hiss at you and say which. And, <laughs> which? <yeah. laughs> you know. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Isn't that Isn't what that happens? No. Oh. Yeah. Crazy like you, James. Sad face. Oh. You, you know what you get for if you happen to is happen to touch those things called MB. Mega blocks. Yeah, you get, oh, you get a name out of it. Don't worry, it's a personal thing, Joe. Um. <laughs> Oh, Flash yeah, Pants is leaving us in the chat. Thank you for checking oh, in. Flash. It's always great to see you. 
You flushed your pants and we were happy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. My flush pants. Just ignore that last comment. Your your visit was memorable. Yes, very memorable. <laughs> you got a Oh my face, goodness. James. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh dear. Hey, uh, yeah, you can never say we're boring these days. No, 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 Darren, no. James bring. I was about to say James puts a pee in party, but then I thought that's probably not good. <laughs> <laughs> Capital P. Um. Oh, um. <laughs> Don't drink the punch, boys and girls. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> it's time for the special time. Oh no. <laughs> they call it Sunshine Punch, but it won't. They call it Sunshine Punch, but there's no ring of sunshine there. I can't. Why are you keep saying this thing? Alright, whilst we're on potty humour, I learned an important <laughs> fact today that Wombat Poo is square. Yep. Yes, it yep. is. Yes. Always had been. It doesn't roll off things. <laughs> Always has been. What? Always has oh. been. But I just oh, love this. Oh, I used to be a scatologist, thank you. <laughs> you, 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 oh, God. Purveyor of all things poo. Excellent. Correct. Pretty much. I was looking for funny words and nothing was coming. <laughs> there are no other words, Cherie. Oh, bad poo. Well, I was going to say, like how I found out that possum pee can eat Lego. Oh, yes. it, it's feral. That stuff. It can eat through walls. It, it's like um, aliens. You know, the stuff that goes through the walls and like melts steel and that? Possum pee. <laughs> Possums are actually xenomorphs with fur. Yeah. Full aliens. Oh. <clears throat> Darren, can you please rein back on the moderation duties? You're being a bit harsh. When Sorry. someone stops mentioning my name, what do I do? Mm. Darren? Yeah. Oh. Oh, where did other piece go? Well. Oh. I am pleased to, like, next week, or well, hopefully, if I don't get a massive bill, which, who knows, that could happen, um, I shall be getting off lay by the uh, Nexo Knights Castle. You know the big blue one? Ooh. Yep. Yes. The one, the one with the female pig. And you know it's female because it's got nice, luscious, long eyelashes, and it's called Ham Hamaletta, I think. Or something. Yeah, right there, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Ooh, yes. Icebergs in the house. You want to repeat your comment, James? <laughs> Ice yep, iceberg. Okay. Is a burning. Hi. <laughs> iceberg. <laughs> it's like hi. Um, Come on, ice. There's a scene in Dumb and Dumber where um, he like licks the pole and goes, "Oh, frost." <laughs> that that's kind of what I was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, it's like yeah. you, missed, you missed a comment by James where, where we, we, we were introducing your name and stuff. He was saying that he wanted to lick you mm. just to see if his stung, tongue would stick. Oh dear. Oh, oh that's dear. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> oh dear! Please don't leave. <laughs> User has disconnected. Context. Context is awesome. Agree. Ah, uh. uh, are you still building your hospital, Timmy? Uh, I'm on the phone. I'm on the final leg, yes. Oh, it's the final countdown. Now that's ours, will you? 
<clears throat> I, I've got the floor floorball on, and now I'm doing the roof area for the helicopter and the um, uh, top PC unit and a few other um, things like um, radio dishes, repeater tower, and um, radio um, coupling. What? You're having a helicopter? I've got to have a helicopter. Can't be a Lego city build without a helicopter. You need more than one. <laughs> I've got ten of them, for God's sake. Ten's not enough. I, I, still, I, still I, I can't wait for the possible set that's coming out this year. I still think my mate Darren had it right. He goes, he said there needs to be a mock of the, like, the apocalypse of all the helicopters from Lego City all parked out in the desert in the graveyard. Oh, no. In the boneyard. I think that'd be cool. One of every helicopter they would have made. Haven't they already done that? It was like um, uh, the Bishop family reunion or something, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Bishop reunion, what? Ah, uh, um, for overseas visitors um, to the chat and to the stream, the, the Bishop um, family have an addiction to using helicopters at um, taxpayers' expense. Yes. Oh, but, yes, Bronnie, Bronnie Bishop, yes. yes she, she's got an aversion to take a helicopter five minutes down the road. Yeah, that's the one. Foreshore. To land her on the foreshore. On the foreshore, all right. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, taxpayers. You're paying for yeah, this. No, nothing wrong with that. I'll just take the helicopter five minutes down the road. It's okay. Yes. Nothing wrong with that at all. No, no not at all. Yeah, then we cop it as taxpayers in the neck, you bloody cow. Oh, well. She was my local member at one stage, unfortunately. I told her to go get fucked. Oh. Yeah, she's not a very nice politician. Is this no. Anyway, when let's, let's get away from politics. Good idea. Let's go back. We were talking about politics? Uh, yeah, we were talking about Bronwyn Bishop. She needs a helicopter to do her hair. <laughs> Oh, yes, there is that. <laughs> oh, no. Good one, Douglas. Good one, mate. <laughs> Good old Douglas. Everyone in Lego City could take a helicopter ride because just about every set seems to include a helicopter. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, moderately active. I don't know how air traffic control can handle those helicopters. So many helicopters. And then Wait, actually, flying. that's a good point. Where's the air traffic control set for the helicopters? Exactly, the Darren. Um, so if you're watching, Lego, we need an air traffic control set. Yep, please. Haven't they recently done an airport that yeah, nobody really bought? Airport. No, no, we don't need an airport. We just need an air traffic control. Helicopters don't need an airport. You know, land anywhere. Oh, uh, you can blame the German kids. So far, <laughs> they're the ones that they they test all the toys on. Uh, 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 yeah, it's all making sense now. Yeah, I'm doing my best. No, no, we don't get Come on, dancing, no. Ah. Oh. We have a comment that is valid to the topic of tonight. Are yes, artists artist. and creative being scammed? And is this, this is from somebody who is an artist of sorts. Um, Iceberg Bricks says, well, um, I think that if the artists take ownership of their creations by leading the way to having their own sponsored Lego events, that would cut down on the exploitation. Oh, that's a point. Iceberg Bricks, do we know you? Yes, we do. We love him. Icy's a good friend of ours. Hmm. Hello. Okay, so that, that that is a very good point. Um, yeah, unfortunately, part of that is that um, running events cost money. 
and money needs to come from somewhere. So money is either going to come from a sponsor who's going to want some form of control over the event yeah, or some say because they want, you know, return on investment or, um, you know, individuals are going to have to pony up money that they may or may not get back. I have seen Lego shows be done by people paying $100 into the kitty basically and if yeah. the show went okay, they get their money back because they can't make a profit off it. Oh, interesting. So, and I know that, that, that that's different from um, country to country have different laws. Matthew, what does mine stick out its bum hole like that? What have I done wrong? Dang. They got my mouth like that. Oh yeah, gal sure. What? Sorry, I'm in Chinese. Sorry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta turn it around the other way. That's Batali Homa. Um oh, I had it around the wrong way. Not as bad as Cherise. Uh, she Cherise. I had the bit around the wrong way and I had to pull it back out. <laughs> You'll never let that down, Cherise. That's okay. I I <laughs> own my mistakes. True, it's good that uh, oh. Oh, uh, yes. Um, an example of an artist that basically basically is um, taking you know, his own art and turned it into his own show would be um, Ross Bricks. Isn't that right, Darren? Pardon, sorry? Ross Bricks? Yeah. He's done what? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I pay attention, man. Yeah. You're a big fan of the kale, aren't you? <clears throat> oh, he does some good photography. Yeah. So we're talking about oh. artists being scanned by, you know, um, basically having their talents, you know, exploited. Exploited. For money for gain that isn't for them. Exploitation. Exploitation. Well, having having your IP protected is important for a content creator or a content content adapter. Um, you would know. Um, but uh, not such thing as IP in China. Yes, true. Well, everything is up for everything in China is up for taking and copy. Don't you know? Communist Party number one line. Take and copy. No, it's wouldn't it be repeat and improve? <laughs> Make improve? it better. Everything some of the stuff China has done. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. It doesn't work half the time. Right. Oh, no, who, can, who can play it? That has joined us in the live chat. Hello, hello, hello. Is yeah, this yeah, yeah. Two can play at the end. Add that, add that, add that. Huh? Hi. Right. Anyone anyone else want to weigh in on tonight's topic before we get off topic again? Again. Yeah. Again. Again again? Again. I just, again. I, I just think that uh, Lego has got a responsibility in some sense, way or form that AFOLs like us who, and and quite um, a lot of us are, are very uh, decent builders in our own rights. I think they have a responsibility that we um, often promote their product free of charge to them and that we also fly the flag for their company profile. They should actually have some common sense to actually go, these guys actually are helping us and therefore we actually should give back to them. 
Well, we do just in the, in the normal stuff that we do. We promote future sales either through our own activity or spreading the word. Um, mm -hmm. They don't have to always raise the price all the time. I think that in itself would be as as good as a discount. Like, to mm -hmm. what end does raising the price by fifteen or twenty percent, you know, every couple of years do other than you know, um, obviously it increases their bottom line, but it cuts out a lot of new people from coming into it. Um, yeah. You know. yeah. So it yeah. Does. But it's the way the cookie crumbles. It's like we promote them here, lots and lots and lots, but where's all our freebies? Yay! We get nothing. I'm sure Lego has a, Dar uh, a Darren channel. <laughs> Actually, I want to start looking for that. That'll be pretty awesome. No, I'm not. I, look, I am not starting a YouTube channel, all right? I, 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 oh, no God, ideas. Could you mar imagine if Gandalf here had a YouTube channel? I can. Oh, oh wow. And no, I'll not no, sleep no. tonight thinking of that. That's pretty funny. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, two Kim player that's asking, what's Tim building? Tim is building what he is hoping is the, the competition winning entry for a very awesome competition. What do you mean Tim's hoping? Tim is going to win it. I'm going to win it, don't you worry. I've already seen some of the competition and it um, pales into insignificance when it comes to uh, my build, I believe. But that's just my, 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 blowing my own trumpet. I'll just have a channel yeah. called What's in the Box. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. God, no. Oh, my God. You know where that could go. And you, oh, you go wow, wow. Be, uh, well, it could be anything. It could be a sausage pizza. Oh, no. Um, It, <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> hey, I own a cat. So, you know, it, it, it could be a cat. <laughs> he just, <laughs> rawr, he just his paw coming out. <laughs> oh, poor cat! Yeah. Help! Help. Uh, we've, got, oh, we've got some interesting chatter going on on the topic. Uh, yep. was, uh Henry says, "Apple, a lot of money spent plus normally good be building skills plus YouTube or showing area uh, area. Oh, oh, a show." And and money signs Lego wins. Oh, they're getting and, a great deal. Uh, <laughs> Jason Miller said, "Just to be fair against Lego, taxes in Denmark and the European Union just went up like seventy percent, seventeen, not seventy, seventeen percent on the first of January. So I'm sure Lego will eat up um, some of that in an increase, some of that increase, but a lot will be pushed onto the customer." Yeah, I don't know. A lot of the problems with um, the things that we we get as benefits as Arlogs in Australia and New Zealand uh, have been severely impacted by Australia's import laws and border port, and border laws. Thanks, uh, man. Yeah, yeah. When when you're getting people that are buying like normal retail quantities of things like. For example, the Millennium Falcon, which is twelve hundred dollars in Australia, and uh, the threshold is a thousand. And once you spend over a thousand, despite the fact these people are paid GST um, over, you know, because it's considered an, a um, company outside of Australia because they don't actually ship from within Australia, people get pinged at Border Patrol. Bollocks! That's not right. Yeah, although I've heard that so long as they prove that they'd purchase it and they were just a you know regular retail customer, uh, regular jobs. But I've heard of people having them held up for like five weeks. Yeah, because yeah. you order things like this, and they obviously go through looking a bit sus when they're imported in bags of two hundred. Yeah, oh, Darren, that's what happens when you buy trans clear things that look like ice. Yeah, I know, especially when you buy them in thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Yes. And your delivery is actually the local Comanchero's clubhouse. But anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. But I love the gentleman. I, I must They're have, lovely gentlemen. I have offended. MD Brick MD has entered the chat and oh. he's saying, sure is a lot of fancy talk there. 
I'm not sure of the context, but it sounds like something you'd say. Um, yes. Can I can I answer the? Um, no. Yes. No. <laughs> um, right. Um, I, I can only really go by. Um, uh, can I go what by last year in regards to the cost for um, displaying for a show? Uh -huh. um, okay. So, for example. I didn't actually do um, Brick Vengeance, and I had to cancel at the last minute. But f you have to find accommodation for the four days. Mm -hmm. And then you need to, well, you actually get a, f a food card. It's like 10 or $15 this year. $10. Uh, which you would probably go in liquid. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you either have your food or your drink or both, depends how you do it. Um, and then you have to, if you drive there, you have to pay for parking. Um, yep. and so for the four days, you're looking at a thousand dollars easily. Yep. Um, and, and, and of course, if you're exhibiting, there is no way that you can say, oh, I won't buy anything because you do. <laughs> I didn't buy anything. Oh, you're a liar. <laughs> no, I didn't buy anything Lego. Okay, you well, buy, okay. Who, 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 who does a Lego show and never buys a thing? Well, Darren, yeah. He's Darren, weird. you're a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, here all week. A, a big event like Greek Vention, you can drop a K, and oh yeah, and, and yeah, that's yeah. that's not including um, the cost of the actual bricks themselves. Some of the big sets, you know, uh, the big displays, you can just count the zeros. So. Oh, yeah. Our, look, our giant jam sandwich had two and a half K in it easy. Mm. And that was a relatively small considering, you know, compared to some of the others, which are just... Oh, Pyramid insane. must have had five grand in it easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're coming from interstate, you can, like, yeah, almost double that amount. Yeah, of course. Well, but then again, it, it is a hobby as well. It yeah, is a choice. True, it is a choice. You don't have to do it. My husband and I, when we went... To brick mansion in Melbourne, it cost us two grand. Mm. Yep, and wow. that was a very short holiday. <laughs> and the worst thing is, it's always during the Australian Open, so combination goes really quick. Yeah, the, the good thing is, and, this and it is also a, goes up, which it shouldn't. The good thing is, and this is a, a mercilessly um, transparent plug. Mm. Benio Bricks is coming up soon. And Bendigo is quite inexpensive to come over and to stay at. And, um, it's whenever... extremely inexpensive. I'm going to send stuff down. Oh, so, well, yes. Speaking of which, <laughs> I need to get into my boxes so I can figure out what I'm sending. Better get on to that tomorrow. Yes, looking forward to Bendigo Bricks. It's one of my favourite shows of the now, year. When, when is Bendigo on again? Bendigo Bricks is on from the 14th and 15th of April. Um, and two weeks prior to that is actually the... Um, we uh, ben, uh, Bendigo Bricks is actually um, involved in a whole host of other community activities as well. Um, so we're involved in um, the, the parade. Um, we have some activities in the park, in Rosalind Park. Oh, you yeah, have parade. Hello. A whole oh, bunch yeah. of stuff as well, as well as uh, exhibitions and whatnot. And, mm -hmm. of course, the actual show, which is on 14th or 15th. And, of course, uh, there's also Bricolade in Adelaide over Easter on weekend. Yes. Friday, Saturday? Uh, but that's in another state. It's March, isn't it? Uh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's March. So a couple of weeks earlier than that, yeah. Because Easter is on April 1st this year. That's a joke. April 4th. Oh, I'm just leaving it alone. <gasps> uh, I'm moving away from that topic. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We yeah. already have one religion here. Lego. Lego, exactly. Oh, okay, um, uh, all right. I've got, I've got a question in the chat that I just need to address before I lose it. Uh, Henry asks, hey, Aussie Brick Chick, I really want to start a Lego channel. Do you have any tips for starting out? 
I've already recorded one Lego haul and I just need to edit and upload. Well, you're halfway there, mate. The first step is starting because you're going to suck in the beginning and I suck in the beginning. I still... Sorry, what was that, Tim? You still what? No, uh, uh, nothing. No. Timmy is coming into land. Can you please assume the correct position? Pray to the clock. <laughs> I gotta get the lights going. <laughs> Time break, Timmy. <laughs> yeah. uh, my, my biggest yes. advice is to, to just start and you'll make lots of mistakes and you'll feel like nobody's watching you. Um, collaborate with, like, friends. Like, if you have... Uh, friends in the Lego community collaborate like I'm doing here. Um, you don't need to necessarily live stream, but you could um, shoot videos together. Uh, find other people that share common interests to you that are either YouTubers or not YouTubers. Um, most of my panel here are not YouTubers tonight, so it's a good idea to have a mix uh, yep. for interest sake. Yeah. I'm not on YouTube other than here and the other streams just related to Lego. So people have asked me to start a stream. I'm not interested. If I was going to start a YouTube channel, it would probably have more to do with drag racing or something like that or land speed records. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. What? Drag racing and cows. Just go around with a, with a camera and go, look at this guy. He's a hood. Look at this guy. He's a hood. Just look at this guy. He's dressed up in a really nice dress. Hey. <laughs> Drag racing, driving really fast in women's clothes. <laughs> those, those. Oh, I checked over my dress. Oh, stiletto. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't wear stilettos. You can't hit the throttle hard enough if you wear stilettos. Oh, Darren, why am I, Darren, why am I imagining you in a dress with orange lipstick and a really long train? Why am I getting that image? Oh, no. oh, can we delete this stream, please? <laughs> no, but once we're finished, I can edit parts out if you like. Yeah, I'm just don't edit them out and put them up in the highlights. Yeah, look, the oh. only time that there are highlights is when I can even be bothered. Yeah, that, that'd be fantastic. Fantastic for you. If this was um, YouTube's trending video of the night. Oh, wouldn't that be hilarious? That'd be great for you. What but... the hell am I watching and why am I here? Yeah, tomorrow. How did I get here? <laughs> uh, yes. Um, Henry, when you do start putting stuff up, um, yes. yeah, let me know, mate. I'll come and have a look and if you want any constructive Please take from my my six one four. Oh, another plane. Yeah. Henry, you're air traffic controller for the night, are you? I believe so. Apparently, they're coming that close to my house. Mm -hmm. uh, to complete that, it says, Darren, you could do a channel on the history of drag racing and land speed records. Yeah, my answer to that is there's plenty of them already. Yeah, true. Uh, I am the Brick. When did RRB Ninjago disappear? He disappeared a while ago because he is in the future compared to me. So, uh, yeah. It's yeah. Getting close to one o'clock here in the future. He overdid it last week, so he decided to pull back on the reins this week. So, I can understand that. That's fine. Got to find balance. Balance is good. Balance is good. Balance you is good. Balance in the box. You must have been in the box. <laughs> Use the lozenge, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Darren, talk about talk about beardies. Um, Mr. H has got a bloody good looking beard. Uh, 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 seeing him on um, Iceberg Stream, he's a he's a blood nut beard. All right, he's got a blood nut beard. Yeah, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, f I forgot that earlier. Mr. H was asking how long your beard is because you can't see the end of it. How far does it go? There. I pull back a little bit. Oh, that's a nice beard. So there. That's it's a nice beard. It covers the brick bench and there you go. It's a beard. <laughs> <laughs> 
you laugh I'm pretty at that. sure that's intentional. <laughs> what was it? Shh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. I'm asking for Benny Go Brick shirts to have the logo printed down lower. I want. Oh, does yes, Benny Go Brick have must, shirts? I no, not yet. Resume inquiries. I hope so. Yes. We well, hope. If they have shirts, I'll buy one. Yes, we're hoping. If, if I don't get given one. My, that was yes. subtle. Actually, Timmy, the, the colour here isn't really good. My, I don't quite have a blood nut beard, but it's fairly red and a bit of grey. Oh, nice, mate. You mean it's fairly grey with a bit of red? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Either that or you had a milkshake for dinner. Uh, it's, yeah. Oh, boom, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -da <laughs> the boys in the yard and they're like, it's better than us. <laughs> Oh, so, um, yeah, just while, while, while there's people in, like Josh has asked about the set over nice beard, well, yeah, rah, rah. Yeah, uh, nice did anyone see anyone putting Lego baubles in their beards a couple of years back as being a trend? Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. I've seen people put yes. Lego in their beards. Yeah, I'm not going there. Oh. No. Nah. Not doing a bit of... What about chickens? Chickens. Yeah. Have you heard? Have you heard? Ah! Uh, you brought up chickens. Oh, the bird, 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 bird is the word. Oh, no, not again, James. <laughs> hey, you brought up chickens. James. Uh, you asked for that, James. Yep. No, no, it didn't. I'm hiding. No, no, no. You asked no. for it. Why? Seagulls. 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 Why? Seagulls. You clearly asked no. for it. No, no, no. <laughs> Seagulls. No, Seagulls. Seagulls. No. Nope. 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 <laughs> Where did I just finish that? Pork, pork, And the stream descends in the madness once again. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I find you people? Coffee, bee, sugar? Nope. Coffee, bee. Oh, God. Stop sending us coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I nothing to do with coffee. Coffee and cocaine? Okay. Yummy, yummy. Mm. No, there's nothing like that going on. Go, go, go. I could never afford cocaine, mate. I'd buy too much Lego. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe that's oh, the no. war on drugs. Just, you know. Introduce Lego into the community, and this, that'll this pretty much destroy drugs, all the uh, all, this? all the disposable income. This is the war on drugs. Get your kids addicted to this, and they'll never have money for drugs. There you go. ABS addiction. Well, yeah. that's not ABS. That's that's the other stuff, isn't it? Like JHB. The other kind of plastic. <laughs> Oh, Jason Miller saying that he he needs to run. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. It's always thank a you for running. For running, have to it run was away. running. He's like, I have to run, 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 run away. Uh, <laughs> I had to run. Okay. Uh, I had the runs, but I didn't get too far. Oh, you didn't oh. want me to hear that. No. <laughs> uh, that was lost. Not listening. That was lost in translation. Yeah, yeah. You uh, should have said that in Chinese. We wouldn't have known. <laughs> <laughs> the censors in China would have. Yeah. Yes, they would. Oh, yeah. Confusion says, do not be confused. Because you'll be unable to remember which way you go up or which way you go down. Yes. That was confusing. <laughs> okay. Never been so confused. You're self breaking, Timmy. <laughs> self breaking. Go break yourself, Timmy. Check your warranty, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a warranty? Timmy voided that at birth. <laughs> <laughs> well, he messed himself in water. So, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to break Timmy, but yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Please Quite a reached tick. 
Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. You guys. You guys. Yeah. Sorry, I'm unplugging things and plugging things. No, we don't talk about pl- unplugging and plugging and things like that on the stoop anymore. Putting things in and out. Yeah. That's <laughs> <great. Sure laughs> good. I'm not a parliamentarian, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. <laughs> There was a great, there was a great um, cartoon in one of the papers um, of Barnaby Joyce feeling his pregnant girlfriend's um, belly, and then he's getting oh, kicked, up, kicked up the butt by um, Malcolm at the same time, and he goes, "I can feel that, I can feel it kicking." <laughs> oh <laughs> Get, no! Getting kicked from both directions at once by the sound. Oh gosh! Yeah, good old Barnaby. Can we Barnaby had no choice. Stupid politics out of it. Well. Sorry. Who started well, the politics? Oh, that's right. We are talking about helicopters, weren't we? That's how we started yeah. going that, down that slippery slope. Helicopters, yeah. See, yeah. Um, when was the Lego? last time helicopters was on a slope? It's not exactly the best place to land. Anyway. I don't like this guitar that you get with the bloody damn diner. It's shit. Which one? It shows the other side of it. Isn't it the same as every other one of those guitars that they... Oh, no, 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 no. So the one that comes with the Ninjago guitar, the Ninjago guitar is much, much better. It's so printed. It's plain. How? Oh, my God. That's horrible. Uh, yeah. Oh, the, one, the one out of the Batman series is nicer with the white scratch plate. Yes. And it's got the wah wah bar. Yeah. All oh, right. I didn't notice wah, that. Wah. I haven't that. Wah, that wah. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's got the boom chicka wow wow bar. Wow wow bar. I didn't realize that was um, wow. Charlie Brown. Yeah, it's a whammy bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so the so the madness started a while ago. Please hold. Speaking of dear. Uh, well, speaking of, we had a Chinese barking deer in that backyard yesterday. A what? What? A Chinese barking deer. Chinese barking what? A Chinese barking deer. Yeah. Okay. Yes, the poor thing got stunned by a bloody uh, a dog that scared it into our yard and didn't know how to get out. The poor bloody thing. Yeah. I said to my missus, I could have it. I could have it for uh, Chinese uh, New Year uh, feast and have some venison. She said, "Don't touch it." <laughs> They're a bit okay. sacred, like cows in India, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Thought as much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can just imagine you having a barbecue in the backyard, Timmy. Next minute. The jackboots come knocking on the door. <laughs> That's it, mate. You're eating sacred animals. <laughs> you cannot take this one. It's for village people only. <laughs> only for village people. Not for <laughs> you. Village people. Those are YMC. I mean. <laughs> Not village people. Why do you say village people? We have a village elder in our. We have a village chief who sacrifices things and says you're allowed to eat or you're not allowed to eat certain things at certain times. Okay. And he he said, you cannot eat the barking deer this season because it's a year of dog and deer bark by dog you do not touch. Fair enough. That's what I said. So any other year they're fair game then? That's exactly right. Oh, so this is the year of rest for the for the deer. So what about the year of the dragon? What happens with that? You don't oh. want to know. You so, just get allowed to eat, you're not allowed to eat dragons, mate. Simple as that. Oh well, thank goodness, because you know dragons are common. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're called mother-in-laws. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, that, went down. that didn't go down too well. Oops. 
there's obviously something behind that that we're not aware of. No, nah, we're talking off screen about that. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Um, nobody will know. It's our little secret. Nobody will know. <laughs> so, what is anyone working on anything for shows or? Yes. I'm working on getting to the box that has my Micropolis in it. Well, the box says that have my Micropolis in them. What should I take, Darren? Well, when Anything. I say take, what should I send? I'd like to see your water your water slide park, actually. Water slide park. All right, the only problem with water slide park is it's really fragile. Yeah, but I told you I'd rebuild it for you if you turned up. Yeah, true. I, I suppose I could send that to Bendigo. What else? Um, don't send the airport. <laughs> oh, the airport is too big. Yeah, that's why I said that's the airport. Um, if I, if I, well, okay, it's, it's not really, but... Um, yeah, but without the rest of your stuff, to put it in context, it's just too big as a single thing. Oh, it's big enough to fill a table by itself. It has yeah. context by itself. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, what I'm saying is I don't think we're going to have a huge showing to it will just be overbalance it um darren's like yeah. don't make me look bad no i'm not doing micropolis at um bendigo bricks i haven't done any micropolis showing this year yeah, like i said don't make me look bad by making a big micropolis when i pay none yeah next year maybe maybe it's not i don't mean it's going to get up next year it's um it's too hard to get parts it is seriously. Probably because I own a lot of them. Nah, you haven't got the parts that I want. I know that. What parts are you looking for? Oh, gold, but... gold. No, nah, that, nah, that's just for this Ooh. month's build. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, can I say this? This has just come up on um, another channel. Um, I've just been browsing Facebook, and apparently. <laughs> There I'm is just being, news. You know, not paying attention, browsing Facebook. What's news? <laughs> no, 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 I'm multitasking. It's actually. Um... Oh my god, you're multitasking! I thought men weren't capable of that. Well, it's actually big news. Apparently, uh, the first set in the relaunch Lego Harry Potter theme, <gasps> the Hogwarts Great Hall, Ooh, will be available cool. August the first. Is that official mm. news? Yes. Uh, with 878 pieces and 10 minifigures, will be available on August the 1st with 100 US dollars. So, um, um, wow, that's not bad. For 10 so that's loosely based on the first two Harry Potter movies, Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets, includes 10 minifigures with all new printing and several new molds, shorter legs, um, and new magic ones include Harry Potter. Uh, Ron, Hermione, Draco, and for the first time, Susan Bones. Uh, McGonagall, Dumbledore, Quirrell with reversible Voldemort face. Um, updated Hagrid h holding a new lantern and a pink umbrella. And Lovely. a ghostly, nearly headless Nick, which I do believe is a first. Wow. Um, it also comes with a head with the owl. A new printed rat scabbers. Um, oh, actually, I'll just zoom in. And apparently, scabbers. Ooh. Tries. So, where have you seen the. Okay, I do want this set suddenly. Um, I will provide a link very, 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 very shortly. Um, and there's many things. And so, this will be a quite. A, I'll just pop this there. There we go. Place pop this over there. Boom. And it won't. Yeah. Okay. It won't roar. It won't roar. Yes. So I'll paste. <laughs> what? What happened here? It won't roar. It won't. Okay. Oh. I'll try this again because I'm a genius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm waiting for the boom. Where's the boom? <laughs> where's the boom? Okay. Where's the boom, James? Where's the boom? Boom! Oh. Okay. Boom! Boom, boom! 
Oh god. Hashtag don't don't break <laughs> me. No, I'm not right. I want okay. to see kitchen. What, what oh, side no, is this on? Still, okay, it's a uh, brother. <laughs> Brothersbrick.com Brothers um, and it should be on there. So I put it up in the chat, mate. Yes, I will because I'm incompetent and I don't know how to operate anything. Uh, to operate machinery. I could I could comment there, but no. Nah. <laughs> Sod. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, but yes, okay. it does look like a very nice set. Um, very good, but I'm I must admit, James does know how to stick two Lego bricks together occasionally. However, However, there is an issue um, which might influence some people. There's no sand green, so the roofs are actually grey. No. But the, it does look like there's a whole bunch of new pieces, including a sorting hat. Grey or dark blue grey? Uh, uh, duck. Yeah, playing to, like playing to the dark blue grey crowd instead of the sand green crowd now. Oh, there is some sand green, it's just only a couple. Um, there's like a okay. cane flame. I have got it and I will show it when we start going into infinity. Here we go. And there's some oh. square windows which look extremely nice as well. Wow. That is quite nice. Lovely. Nick is cool. Yeah, those Ooh. those windows with square frames. Yes. Nice. Interesting. And how much is this? 100 US? Hmm. That's pretty stonking value. Which is what? In Australian, $350? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, that, it's it's eighty cents. It's eighty cents. So, if they're doing it right, it should. Well, it's normally what one hundred and seventy, one hundred and eighty. Well, mm. we'll pay three hundred then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the retail take their cut, and so that was released um, in the. Top the government does too. Interesting that they're chosen grey for the. Hmm. It doesn't fit with anything previous, but I suppose that makes it a standout too. Uh, might be the reason being that it's all plate built. Yeah. <laughs> Sand green, to my knowledge, hasn't been done in plate yet. No, it hasn't. Uh, no, not in large ones anyway. Wow, I was right on something obscure Lego wise. Woohoo! Yay! Oh, wow, look at this. Hmm, square windows do look interesting. Ooh, we have spiral staircase. Nice. Mm. What is the window frame made from? Interesting. Why do we have to have a Harry Potter stained glass window? I don't know. Oh, I'm not worried. Oh, and the doors in the behind the. Oh my god, these are freaking stickers. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh, yes, but it means that you can take them and put them on other things. Yeah. But they're tan, not clear, which sucks. Harry Potter Returns. I think that's all the images. Harry Returns. Oh no, there's another one. I must have missed one. Ooh. Now I do like the spikes on top of the Oh unicorn. Now they're a they're a new part by looks like they thought they were ice cream cones to start off with. That's them. a unicorn horn and then you got these bits that are I think the Nexo Knights. Oh ah, right, okay. Knights. Haven't seen them in gold before. I think that's gold, isn't it? Not tan. No, I haven't them. seen them in town before. Uh, I think that's all the pictures now. Yeah. And of course, you get it a marvelous human tool. Yeah. The minifigs do look good. Now, why um, don't you give us a sand green human tool to make it really collectible? Oh, it's a printed rat. Yeah, there's printed eyes on the rat. All right. 
Pardon me for one second. I'll be back. Um, does that? Do those flames look like they're dark red? But yeah, it doesn't look like a big set at all. Although, it, interestingly, it looks like. Notice how there's like connectors. So I'm guessing that there will be a lot more sets that it will just hook together. Uh, so Harry Potter Modular is finally here. Well, it kind of makes sense. You can you can have all of Hogwarts. You just you know click them together. Yeah. Cool. It's been it's been done in shows. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a big fan, just... but there's a lot of shinies there. That's quite yeah, and I think we've got to embrace these themes because they do give us new parts. So even if we don't like them personally, if we like them for the parts, we should buy them for that reason to ensure we keep getting the new parts. Bear in mind, it will be expensive because it will be. Oh, expensive. yes, it will be because it's Harry Potter. But the problem is, is that because it's Harry Potter, it would be worth buying one set and keeping it the NIB for perpetuity. Um, oh, don't suffocate the minifigures. No, actually, sorry, I'm realising this is going on the internet. Don't buy them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> leave them all. Uh, don't buy this set. Um, just you know, leave it on the shelves. Uh, let it get discounted, and then we'll just um, they'll just go away. And we'll and, just stockpile um, them. <laughs> <laughs> Be like small. <laughs> but yes, shiny. Shiny, yes, shinies. What shiny? Harry Potter shinies. Shiny. Yes, we we're just They're saying shiny. that you should um, not buy them, so they end up going out on discount. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll never make Harry Potter ever again. Well, It'll then everyone's Harry Potter. Then, then the That's flippers will really be in heaven. <laughs> Oh, somebody, somebody knows my bow. It's a zombie head. Oh, wow. I made that. Lovely. I had like a, a pink bow with Uni Kitty on it, but he got lost at Toowoomba last year. Some little girl oh, was very no. happy. Well, I like to think that Uni Kitty went to a good home. If anyone out there knows who got Aussie Brick Chicks Uni Kitty, I will give you two uni kitties if you return oh, her bow. Oh, no. This is a bow. I, I just hope that it got picked up by a little girl and didn't just get chucked in the trash because that would be sad. Yeah. yeah. I, I lost it. I was wearing it on top of my brick badge and I lost it somewhere and it was never found because it was during, like, public time. So, obviously, somebody picked it up and went, yoink. Yoink. I'll yoink. take that. Yes, occasionally, I say, the things get knocked off display so they can get picked up off the floor, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, we got Bailey yeah. in the shop. He's saying he likes Woo! a more realistic dark grey roof, a bit close to the actual model, finally, and not really, but I collect nice-looking stuff. Yes, you do, Bailey. He indeed he does. Guess what? You're mad and I'm not? Oh, yeah. Okay. You left it wide open, Daz. No, I'm getting close to finishing mocking something at the moment and... Um, I'm just realized... something. Okay? Finish no, and I'm just... Real... No, no, not actually finishing, but finishing a component of it. I just realized I've just ordered a thousand of these little gliders, these half pyramids in gold. Mm. And I think I actually have enough to finish the job anyhow. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, no. You bought more than you needed. <laughs> Oopsie! I might be in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, what you could do is find out if there's anyone locally who'd be interested in buying a lot. Mm. Oh, you <laughs> something else. No, no, they're shiny. They're going to be used in something. <laughs> shiny! It's shiny, shiny. Oh, I wish I could stop dropping them. 
My fingers aren't working well tonight. Anyhow. Your fingers aren't working tonight? No, I'm having having issues. Oh, dear. Tactability. Yeah, fibromyalgia, mate. It's just giving me the irrits. Yeah, it's a bit. But anyhow, let's struggle on. Yeah. Struggle. Life's a struggle. Suck it up, princess. Yep, I've got enough. I'll finish these toilets now. Good. I mean, lose are done. Woohoo! So, what did you use the life boy ring or not? No? Oh, you've no. Got it. no, if you use the, the life ring, yep. you get a really nice finished toilet seat with the lid up, and then you can make the lid up. What? Oh, okay. Lid up? Yeah. So, use the life ring on top of that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know the life ring I mean with the one stud dot on one side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you hinge your lid off of that. So you can have a look oh. like it's open with a really nice smooth toilet seat. Okay. The cute Jeez. built toilet building method. Lovely. Nice. I haven't seen I don't that. know who did it first, but whoever did, good on you, because it's a good technique. It is a good technique, and thank, th thanks to an April who came up with it. Yeah, you know, like I'd like to think that as AFLs we share building techniques rather than trying to claim them as our own. Um, our own. Yeah, I mean, I like I love sharing ideas for mocks, for example. There's things that I know I'll never get around to building, while I'd love to. And I've got many hit on the stream here of things I'd like to see people to build, and when I see them built, I'd love to see them. Yeah, except agree. if they're gold. Except if they're gold. Oh no, that's <laughs> right. Other people can build gold things. <laughs> Shiny gold. If you notice tonight, I'm not showing you what I'm building. <laughs> <laughs> it's secret stuff. <laughs> Some serious competition here. No. Oh, well, I'm going for stupid. He's going for like I'm. I'm hoping that um people look at what I'm going to create and go, "Wow, that's yeah. that's just really James crack." Is going for honey. And, I'm and going Darren, to Darren is going for hardcore. Hardcore. Good. Actually, yeah, he's going for good, and I'm going for what the. Yeah. So, what are you talking about, about James? <laughs> so, so okay for for people who weren't here last week that don't know what you're talking about, this is your lug meat for mugs. Yep. Is yeah. It? Yeah. And the theme is Fabergé eggs. Fabergé. 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 Those, those pretty ornate eggs that are usually like made of things other than just egg. Gold oh, rubies. Gold oh. rubies. They Velvet. usually have like little legs on the bottom that are ornate. Usually hinge or open or. Yeah, yeah. they're usually based around English. Uh, sorry, ostrich eggs. Yes. <laughs> And they're, they're gorgeous, but they're very gaudy sometimes, too. Yes. <coughs> oh, don't die, does. Sorry, people. Surely you must die in a more quiet fashion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I would be nice and not say if you're going to die, at least die quietly. So I don't have to listen to it. God, you're so inconsiderate. Jeez. <laughs> I'm I'm such a fine soul. <clears throat> oh dear! Don't die to me. I'm okay. <laughs> I think I might actually depart, fair people. <gasps> yes. No, you're not allowed to do that. I have to. I um, if I don't have, have to, to start to wind down now, we'll be having this conversation. Tomorrow, and I wouldn't have had any more sleep, so I have to begin to start trying now. So, adieu, adieu, and James, as always. Adieu, bye bye. <laughs> um, and then there were third. No, it's not gone yet. It's called here. Figure out what button. Ooh, Nether Street. Yes, um, I'm starting to look at the time and thinking maybe it is time to uh, wrap this up. What yeah. do you think, boys? Yes. 
Thank you. Wrap this up. All right. So, for those who weren't here earlier, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. We are here every Friday night live. I want to thank you all, all of the live uh, chat people. You guys are awesome. You've given me lots to talk about tonight. Very good conversation. I want to say yep. thank you to my panel peoples. Uh, we just lost James. We have Timmy and Darren still here. We also had RV and Jago. I haven't missed anyone else. No? <coughs> no. Smaller this week, but that's okay. Good value. Awesome sauce. And mm -hmm. uh, we will see some of us on Sunday in Tim Thurston's channel, Super Sunday Stream, if he can manage the technology. We are I can get working. working. And the Chinese government doesn't disconnect you this time. Yeah. As long as the uh, Red Army doesn't come and uh, cut the cable again. Yeah. <laughs> and if you like Minecraft and you didn't check out the live streams this week, uh, we built this awesome set and it is really, yes. really cool. Roll the world. It's an awesome set and it's really great watching you and your hubby and your young and apprentice build it. Yes, yes, the family builds together, stays together. Well, we stay together anyway. We, we all love Lego to varying degrees. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk husband into um, joining me more in videos in future. So if you'd like that, please uh, comment below or in the live chat before you leave and say, we want the Aussie brick bloke. We want the Aussie brick bloke. Yay. And maybe if enough of you say that, you know, you, you want him to come along that uh, I might be able to talk him into it again. But uh, we are planning on doing some more live streams to get rid of our pile of shame, even if we have to end up um, pulling it apart afterwards. At least go through the building process because uh, we learnt stuff from building this one that we had never seen before. So, really cool. Awesome. Okay, so... Until next Yay. time, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in. This is the Aussie Brick Chick channel, and I will see you in the next video.